Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset a Windows 11 computer without losing any data. So this is a new feature in Windows 11 and also one of the recovery options. Using Reset PC feature, you can reset or reinstall your Windows 11 installation by either keeping your files or deleting everything that includes your personal files, apps and settings. You might be wondering when we use this option. Now this option is useful when your Windows 11 PC is not working well and you are unable to fix the issues with the help of built-in troubleshooting options. Just so you know, the Reset PC feature does not keep your installed apps and programs regardless of whether you keep the files or remove everything. So you will have to install all your apps again after performing a Windows 11 reset. However, it will keep the apps that came with your PC. Another important thing to note, you need to have about 15 gig of free disk space on your Windows 11 operating system drive to perform the reset operation. Also make sure your PC or laptop is connected and plugged into a power source until the reset operation is completed. Alright, let me show you how to do this. I have a Windows 11 virtual machine that I'm using, but this procedure would remain same whether it is a laptop, desktop or a virtual machine. First thing first, you need to save all your work and close any running applications. I don't have any. Next, I will click on the start menu and open up the settings app. On the left side, I will click system and on the right side, I will click recovery. Here under the recovery options section, you will see reset this PC option. Click on that. Now you'll get the following dialog box where you need to click the keep my files option if you want to reset your Windows 11 installation without deleting your files, the other option, remove everything, will delete all files and programs, your personal data, and reset Windows 11 to default factory settings. I will select keep my files. Next up, you will see the following dialog box that says, how would you like to reinstall Windows? As you can see here, there are two options to choose from, cloud download and local reinstall. As the name suggests, selecting the cloud download will download a fresh copy of Windows 11 from Microsoft servers and use those files to reinstall Windows 11. Now the download size of Windows 11 installation media is above four gig. And if you select cloud download option, you need to have a faster internet connection. Otherwise, you can select local reinstall option, which uses the files that are already there on your Windows 11 installation to reinstall the operating system. But it is recommended that you use cloud download to fix the corrupt or missing system files. Like I said, in this video, I'm going to select cloud download option. Next, in the additional settings screen, you can review the settings that you have selected so far and click next. In the ready to reset this PC screen, you can see resetting this PC will change the settings back to their defaults. It will keep personal files because we selected that. It will download and reinstall Windows because we selected cloud download and it will remove all apps and programs that did not come with this PC. You can also see the apps that will be removed by clicking this link, view apps that will be removed. I'll click back. I will start the process by clicking reset button. Now this will take some time and your PC will now begin downloading a fresh copy of Windows 11 installation media from Microsoft server. I will speed this up. After the required files are downloaded, your PC will be automatically restarted to start the reset or reinstall task. You can see the message here. It says resetting this PC.
It will reboot the computer a few times during this process, which is completely fine. After a few minutes, it says it is installing, which means it is reinstalling. All right, it is back to the login screen. I will log into this computer by typing the password. And now once the installation or reset operation is completed, you'll see the message hi and this will take a few minutes message for a while before seeing the actual desktop. All right, I'm back in and now you need to install all your drivers, run Windows updates and install all the required applications on your Windows 11 PC. And you can also verify if your file exists. The good thing is that it will not affect the Windows 11 activation status if you reset your Windows 11 PC. So this is how you reset Windows 11 without losing your data. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.